Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emerson and my pronouns are they, them. Although Pride Month is coming to an end, I wanted to make a video. Every single year, I want to make content for Pride Month and then I just get way too in my head. I put so much pressure on myself to put something out that's really like good in the time frame and it just doesn't work out. This year, I'm gonna make a little bit of Pride artwork. I'm gonna do some little Pride portraits. We're going for trans pride, trans love, 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 love to all the trans people because there's just been so much hate. Society. I really promised myself not to go on a rant in this video. This is important. It's because trans people exist, non-binary people exist. It's always hard for me to like not just go crazy with my anger. But that's what the haters want. The haters want us to get mad and not do anything about it. But what we need to do is just be fucking louder and prouder. And so, this is me being louder and prouder. Hi. <laughs> I'm non-binary. I'm not a girl. I'm not a boy. I am genderqueer. I'm not a woman. I'm not part of the binary. I have no gender. So today I'm going to be making some mixed media trans pride art. Let's get started. So the first step was watercolor on some watercolor paper. I wanted the backgrounds to be watercolored in the different pride flag colors, so I did non-binary of course. Then I also did the regular transgender pride flag, the pink, white, and blue. I tried to do the gender queer colors. For some reason, I couldn't get the right shade of green. As I said earlier, my first idea was to be inspired by the colors of the flags to make the characters. I've seen some artists do that and I really love it, but my head wasn't fully in the game on like sitting down and mapping out characters in my head, so I decided to to go for it and do a self-portrait. I, I don't normally do self-portraits, I'm not a big fan, <laughs> but I don't know, I just feel like the time is right, time is now, <laughs> and the word is gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like with all the changes I've made in my life of just being more authentic to myself and being louder and prouder and instead of just being angry about all the hate and hating the haters, I'm really trying to focus more of on my own world and just being myself as much as I can and just fuck everything else. And like, obviously, it's easier said than done. I thought that Making this a self-portrait and putting this video out there, it's kind of like, hi, I'm Emerson, I'm non-binary. If you didn't know that already, now you know. But I also didn't expect to struggle internally with making the self-portrait. I, I struggled with it, like, took a couple days to get it done drawing because I just mentally was, like, stuck almost. I kept getting to a stuck point, and I know it's because... I I think too much about how I'm being perceived and I'm trying to not do that because I see it as people just seeing me as these things that are different and hating them when that's not necessarily the case, which is why I'm just like, just do this drawing, put this, do this. Like, even though I have weird feelings about making a self-portrait like this, nah, it's better to just do it. It sort of looks like me, like you can tell it's me, but I'd rather just not think about it. I tried it. I did it. This is the drawing. That's all.
So I knew that the next one that I did, I wanted to not really have to think about the effort as much. Where like the first one I had to draw thumbnails because I wanted to at least be accurate a little bit. So with the second one, I decided to just go for little little head profiles. I didn't look at a reference or anything. Um, I mean, drawing faces is one of my favorite things, so I can do that all the time. And so I drew a little trans woman and trans man, and I think they're just so cute. I hope, I hope it like comes off that that that's how they are. I feel like the the man is a little bit feminine, and the woman's like at least her face. She's got a little bit of a broader face shape, but. I don't know, there's not really a look to being trans. Trans people look like a lot of different things. And I just didn't want to, you know, I thought about doing like a whole big group picture, but that wasn't do doable for me right now. So that's why I chose something a little smaller. So I did the two heads and the little trans flag and the transgender symbol. And I painted everything, so obviously the background is watercolor. I sketched over it, and then I painted with gouache. I painted the portraits. And then I went over the gouache with colored pencil to do, like, more of the shading and stuff. Man, and now I want to talk about the process of the gouache. Just put my finger in the paint. I love watercolor and I love gouache, but gouache is tricky because it can be opaque and sheer at the same time, depending how much water you add to paint. So like with the first painting I did of myself, you could see that it was a lot more watery than the second painting, which was a lot more um, painty. I definitely prefer gouache in a tube because it comes out thicker as opposed to more water. Because if I wanted to do watercolors, I would have done watercolors. I like gouache because it acts like a watercolor, but you can make it thicker and more opaque by adding less water. So that's my little two cents on that. Yeah, that's how I made it. And finishing touches, I used a little bit of Posca pens and I used, you know, like a felt tip marker to outline and some uh, like jelly roll white pen, you know, just like the finishing touch kind of things. Alright, we're all done. I managed to do two whole pictures. I 
anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of my drawings. Um, happy Pride Month. Happy Summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Peace!